G'day guys. I just I've got out just got out of the shower and there was this lady walking up my street and she's just stopped at my neighbours across the roads garden. I'll just pop a photo of what's in there. You'll see a tree and then you'll see some wood. Okay, so that wood was a piano and um my neighbour is a musician, uh, he's in his 80s now um, and apparently he's quite famous um, amongst, I don't know, he's a jazz muso and he, he gives piano lessons and stuff like that. Anyway, <coughs> oh, this cold is kicking my ass. He is a collector of ruined pianos and he released a CD of music that he had written on ruined pianos and um, uh, I said to him oh, I'd be really interested to hear that CD so he gave me a copy and yeah it's, that's that's probably a, quite a niche market of taste there listening to music on a ruined pianos <laughs> anyway if anyone's got a ruined piano he somehow he hears about it finds it gets it delivered he's had them in his backyard this one was in the front yard and all the kids in the street were encouraged to go and have it, you know, have a play on it and stuff like that. Anyway, at some point that piano has collapsed in the last two years um, and that's what this lady has stopped to look at and I watched her. She stood there looking at it and when she's worked out what it was that it's a piano, she's just shaking her head, turned and walked off. <laughs> she doesn't know the story she probably thinks it's just yobbos living there and they've left their piano at the front and it's collapsed but that's not the case ross in his in his house um because he often goes away um to perform um his house is full of pianos it's just full of pianos and i go in there and feed the cat for him whenever he goes away because the cat was ours so there's another story <clears throat> we had this cat called Possum and um, it was around the time we got our Labrador um, that, um, and we had another cat. Oh, the other cat was Genghis and Genghis got run over by a car and we think Possum was quite traumatised by that and she kept hanging out at the guys across the road's house. And um, he came over one day and he said... Um, she spends a lot of time with me. She sits on my piano when I'm playing because he has a grand piano in his lounge room uh, along with two other uprights. Yeah, and then his kitchen's got four uprights. Yeah, his house is full of pianos. So is his back and front yard. Anyway, he said the cat's, um, she's always in my house. And I said, yeah, she does seem to prefer living with you. I think it's a lot calmer in your house than in her house because we had... We had the dog, we'd just got another kitten because Genghis had died. I said, and we think she's quite traumatized from witness, perhaps witnessing Genghis being run over. Um, and so if you want her, you can have her. And he was like, oh, thank you so much. And he's a Buddhist as well. <coughs> anyway, so Possum lives with him, our cat, and she's still there. So anyway, I go in there and feed the cat for him whenever he goes away. and have a little tinkle on the pianos and that because um, I can play chopsticks, I can play hot cross buns <laughs> and um, another one my granddad taught me, I've talked before about how my granddad tried so hard to teach me how to read music and play the piano and yeah I can play this other song. My father was an Irish man and I was, I am Irish too. He bought a pig for 20 cents <laughs> And it was Irish too. Boom, boom. Yeah, that's the other song that I know how to play on the piano. Um, yeah. Um, so, yeah, <clears throat> getting back to this lady walking up the street, sees a collapsed piano in the front yard. <laughs> Shakes her head and walks off in disgust without knowing the story behind it. Like, that's Ross's thing. He, he gets ruined pianos and they come to die at his house. And because they can't be fixed. So <clears throat> what happens is, is in upright pianos, they either have a wooden frame inside that holds all the strings and all the keys and, you know, the pegs that hit the strings and all of that. 
or they have a metal frame. And in most cases, the metal frame ones are better because after a certain amount of time, the wooden frame ones warp and they distort the sound and you cannot tune them anymore. And they will always sound like they're out of tune. So, and they can't be fixed unless you want to pull the whole thing apart and restring it on a metal frame and that, and that costs a lot of money. So most people get rid of them and just buy a new piano. And so all of these pianos that Ross has inside, they have wooden frames that have warped and that's why they're called ruined pianos. Um, but more often than not, they come from the country. People have had them stored in a barn somewhere on their farm. And, um, and of course, with the weather, the frame inside is warped. So yeah, that's why Ross collects ruined pianos. So yeah, <laughs> I thought I'd share that funny story with you. People that just don't get the full story and make a complete, full, completely rounded judgment without all the facts. So yeah. There's an analogy in that for you. See ya.